Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have m squared minus n cubed equals to 12 and we solve this problem for the values of m, for the real values of m. So the very first step we are going to do is here first we move this 12 to the left hand side and it will be written as m squared minus m cubed minus 12 equals to 0. And now we uh, rewrite this equation as m squared minus m cubed minus we have 12 and we write it as minus 8 minus 4 equals to 0. And now again you focus on this equation and we rewrite it as m squared minus m cubed minus we have 8 and we write this 8 as 2 cubed. And here we have 4 and we write it as 2 squared equals to 0. And now in the next step we make the pairs of uh, m squared with 2 squared and m cubed with 2 cubed and it will be written as uh, m squared minus 2 squared and here we take common minus from these two terms and it will becomes m cubed plus 2 cubed equals to 0. And uh, in the next step here we need uh, two basic formulas of algebra. So uh, the first formula is uh, uh, square and the other is cubic formula. So now first we write these formulas here uh, which we need. So you know that if we have a squared minus b squared it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and similarly uh, the cubic formula is written as a cubed plus b cubed equals to uh, a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square. So we need these two formulas to solve the above equation. Uh, so now uh, we move to uh, above equation and we rewrite this equation as so we have m squared minus 2 squared and uh, it will be written as m minus 2 times of m plus 2 here we use this formula and now we use this cubic formula to this term and it will becomes m plus 2 times of m squared plus 2 m plus 2 squared and this whole equation equals to 0. And now you focus on uh, both of these terms and you see here we have m plus 2 be the common factor uh, and we take it common here and when we take common m plus 2 here then we obtain m minus 2 and when we take common m plus 2 here then we uh, get m square plus 2 m plus 2 square equals to 4 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step here we need little bit simplifications and we write it as m plus 2 times of m minus 2 and now we multiply this negative sign on each of these terms and we get minus m squared minus 2 m minus 4 equals to 0. And uh, in the next step uh, we need more simplification and we get m plus 2 times of uh, here we add or subtract the like terms and we arrange the term so we first write this uh, greater exponent term so it is minus m squared and now we subtract this m by minus 2m and it will becomes minus m and uh, after that sorry here we have little mistake so we uh, write this m squared minus 2m because in this formula we have minus sign so this is also negative and when we multiply this minus sign it will becomes plus so we get m plus 2 m equals to plus 3 m and minus 2 minus 4 equals to minus 6 and this whole equation equals to 0. So in the next step we uh, we divide this equation in two cases so that our first case is we write m plus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we write minus m squared plus 3m minus 6 equals to 0. So in this case we get the value of m equals to minus 2. So this is the our first 
real solution of the given equation and now in order to find the other real solutions we need to solve this quadratic equation so that first we write this quadratic equation in standard form so we multiply each of these terms by uh, minus sign so we obtain m squared minus 3m plus 6 equals to 0 and in the next step we uh, first check is this quadratic equation has real roots or not so that here we uh, use the discriminant formula so that we write the coefficients of this equation and the coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 3 and c equals to 6 so our discriminant formula will be looks like in this form delta equals to b squared minus 4 times of ac and now we substitute the values of a b and c in this data and we check the behavior of this data so that we substitute these values here and we get minus 3 squared minus uh, 4 times of a is 1 and c is 6 so we get minus 3 squared is 9 and 4 times of 6 is 24 and 9 minus 24 equals to minus 15 so this shows that our delta is less than 0 and we know that about the delta if the value of delta is less than 0 it means that it has no real roots but if it is greater than or equals to 0 then it gives us the real roots so in this question we need only real roots but here we cannot get real roots so we rejected this case and we will just proceed here this case only so we have only one solution of the given question which is m equals to minus 2 and now uh, the time to verify uh, this solution so that here we uh, verify uh, the value of m so uh, you see here we have the given question statement is m squared minus m cubed equals to 12 and now we verify the solution so we have m equals to minus 2 so in order to verify this value of m we need to put this value in this equation and we obtain minus 2 squared minus minus 2 cubed equals to 12 and in the next step uh, you see here we have minus 2 square equals to 4 minus minus 2 cube equals to minus 8 equals to 12 and this minus times of minus become plus and we get 4 plus 8 equals to 12 and this gives us 12 equals to 12 so this shows that m equals to minus 2 be uh, satisfied this given question statement so this shows that m equals to minus 2 be the only solution of the given question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos